Hi there, just going to take us for a walk around this 40 kilowatt hour Nissan Leaf. Um, it's a 2.0, uh, it's kind of like the launch model yeah, if, if you like. So it's a really nice high spec car uh, and it's got a 40 kilowatt hour battery which is going to give you somewhere in the region of about 140 miles worth of driving range. Uh, depending on time of year of course and your, your particular style of driving. Um, stats on this car, a whisker under 30,000, uh, sorry, a whisker under 60,000 miles. Uh, so good miles, um, not too high, but high enough to bring this car down to an amazing great value uh, price point. Uh, I mean, this, this car really is, I, I think, offers incredible value for money. Uh, for a car of this quality, if you're looking for kind of a low cost uh, EV, it's superb. Um, other stats are see MOT, that's not due till the middle of June uh, 2025. Same for its next service. Um, so yeah, it's not going to... Um, uh, need either of those things or anything doing to it for quite some time. Um, overall, that you know, it, the car is, it, is good condition. I guess it's okay. Um, there are a few marks on it. Um, it's come in as a part exchange. Um, like I said, there's a few little minor marks on it. Um, nothing too major. It's perhaps not as pristine as some of our cars we've got on the forecourt here. However, it is priced very much accordingly and offers I think incredible value for money but anyway I'll, I'll go around the car now and I'll point at any marks that I think are noteworthy um, the alloys are a little bit on the tatty side uh, I'd say um, not damage as such it's just lack of peel um, comes from using sort of the wrong sort of cleaning products over time um, I mean that's what it looks like from a few feet away so it's not you know, massively noticeable Obviously, we can refurbish, get, we'll get these alloys refurbished, but given the price point of this car, and the fact we're trying to sell it at a great value vehicle, I think we've left them as they are, but if that's something you want doing, we can get done for you. Obviously, you just have to pay for the cost of the refurbs. A couple of little marks on the driver door there. Just little marks. Same with this alloy here. Not so noticeable, really, on this one, but yeah, it's just, it's just a bit of lack of peel. It's a bit of a scuff on the um, corner of the, of the rear bumper. It's all touched in. Uh, and you know, from a distance, you you wouldn't notice this even there. You know, and there's some little mice and various little marks and chips along the boot sill as well. When we come around to this side, the alloys are actually looking okay. How does the paint work? A little bit of marking on this front alloy. Again, just the same as the others, but nothing too major really. So that's very noticeable on that one at all. Uh, I mean, there's sure to be the odd stone chip or two. Um, nothing too stand out ish. Well, there's a little one there, but it's been touched in. So actually, I mean, overall, it's not too bad. Obviously, the alloy sort of let the car down a little bit. Um, uh, but I mean, other than that, it's a couple of little minor marks uh, and some marks on the, the rear bumper. Um, but um, yeah, I mean, overall, it's all okay. It's a 2 0 spec, like I say, it's sort of the launch edition. So it gives you the fabric interior, but it otherwise gives you pretty much all the spec of the Tecna. So you get a nice infotainment system with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. You get a 360 degree camera system. You get an electronic handbrake. Very nice thing to have. You have Nissan's Pro Pilot self driving system. Um, so you get a nice adaptive cruise control that will even self drive in certain conditions. Heated steering wheel, heated seats front and rear. Um, it is a nice high spec car. Like I say, it carries the same spec as the Tecna, really, except it doesn't have the leather seats or the Bose sound system. You know, and where it doesn't have the Bose sound system, it means it doesn't have the Bose sound box in the boot, which is positive. It gives you a big boot. Obviously, a nice spacious boot. Uh, and like all our cars, we'll be supplying it with a three-pin charging lead, so it'll come with a lead that you can plug into a normal main socket, so you can charge the car from that, so you don't necessarily even need to get a charge point installed, I would say. Um, and there you have it. I mean, if, if basically, if, if you're after a low-cost EV, uh, I mean, this is a lot of car for the money. Um, obviously, it's got a decent range. Um, overall, the condition is okay. Um, you know, it, and it's a, a real quality car with lots of high spec on it. So, generally speaking, if, you, if you're looking for a bargain, 
um, not only a bargain but also a, a great sort of low cost EV, this could well be the car for you. Um, here on the forecourt, ready for a test driver reviewing. Uh, alternatively, we can deliver this car straight to your home. Uh, like all our low-cost uh, EVs, I'd imagine this is going to get snapped up fairly quickly. Um, so yeah, do get in touch soon. Uh, but anyway, like I say, it's on the forecourt, ready for a test drive or reviewing. Alternatively, we can deliver this car straight to your home. Uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out all our Nissan Leaf content on our website and on our YouTube channel. Hopefully, you'll find those videos useful, and hopefully, we'll speak to you soon.